How would you like it if you went to pick your flowers and were kneeling in radioactive waste? That's what's happening in Tokyo now. The people trying to bring the Olympics to Tokyo find themselves answering question after question about the leagues. On Saturday, the International Olympic Committee will choose the host city for the Games in 2020. We in Japan have witnessed the significant role athletes and sports can play in society. And now we are determined to share their inspiration and promote the Olympic values for young people around the world. Members of the Tokyo Big Committee held a news conference in Buenos Aires ahead of the IOC meeting. Reporters asked six questions. Four of them were about the safety of Tokyo. I'd like to assure you that there is no risk like the one you might imagine in Tokyo. Takeda said radiation levels in Tokyo are the same as those in any other city in the world. And when I was in Tokyo, I took some samples. Now, I didn't look for the highest radiation spot. I just went around with five plastic bags. And when I found an area, I just scooped up some dirt and put it in the bag. One of those samples was from a crack in the sidewalk. Another one of those samples was from a children's playground that had been previously decontaminated. Another sample had come from some moss on the side of the road. Another sample came from a, um, um, the, the roof of an office building that I was at. And the last sample was right across the street from the main judicial center in downtown Tokyo. Well, I brought those samples back, declared them through customs, and sent them to the lab. And the lab determined that all of them would be qualified as radioactive waste here in the United States and would have to be shipped to Texas to be disposed of. For the Japanese government recently admitted that some 300 tons of radioactive water have leaked into the ocean. Misei Murata, a former Japanese ambassador to Switzerland, criticized the Japanese government and the operator of the crippled nuclear plant, Tokyo Electric Power Corporation, for its handling of the situation. TECO recently admitted to leaks of radioactive water. The amount is much more that the simulation had taken into account. The international community has also voiced concerns over the issue, but Tokyo, meanwhile, is busy drumming up support for its bid in hosting the 2020 Olympics. 2020 Tokyo, let's do well. Murata stressed the fact that Japan does not realize the gravity of the issue is more outrageous. If Japan can secure the safety of its own nation, it is being insincere in hosting an international event like the Olympics. It should step out. We need to get subscribed and get this unity stronger and beat YouTube at their own game. Okay, that's what this is about. Like I say, go to the remix button, hit the remix button. That way you'll have this video and, and keep up with this. Otherwise, you know, YouTube's just going to control us, guys, and it's, it's really bad.